All right, so what have we got here? We've got 15.0 milliliters of a 0 0.30 molar NaCl solution and 12.5 milliliters of a 0 0.40 molar silver nitrate solution. The first thing that I'm going to do is convert this one, the 15.0 milliliters, to liters and then multiply it by the 0 0.30 molar to get how much of the NaCl we have. Point, uh, let me see. 15.0 milliliters is 0 0.0150 liters, right? Because this will go over one, two, three times to get 0 0.0150. I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.30 molar. And everybody knows that molar means moles per liter. So if I take this, and I multiply it by 0 0.30 moles per liter. Well, behold the mighty calculator. 0 0.0150 times 0 0.30 is 0 0.0045 moles of NaCl. Now I'll figure out how much of this stuff I've got. I'm going to take the 12. 0.5 milliliters of that and first of all convert it to liters. 0 0.0125 liters. Just like before, I will multiply it by the 0 0.40 molar, which I'm going to write as 0 0.40 moles per liter. The liters go away, just like I should have written before, and now Thank you, calculator. 0 0.0125 times 0 0.40 is 0 0.0005 moles of silver nitrate. I want to know how many grams of precipitate I can make. Well, the precipitate is that guy right there. And I need to know how many grams of it I can make. I need to know how many moles I can make first of all. And before I see how many moles I can make, I need to figure out which one is the limiting reactant. So limiting reactant. If 0 0.0045 moles of NaCl is to be used up then we would need a certain amount of the silver nitrate. And we're about to calculate exactly how much. 0 0.0045 moles of NaCl converted to the silver nitrate. And I'm going to use the fact that there was a big fat one right in front of that and another one right in front of that. So I'm going to convert moles of NaCl to moles of silver nitrate, like so. The numbers are 1 and 1, and this is from the equation, 1 NaCl and 1 mole of AgNO3. The units go away, and I'm left with 0 0.0045 times 1 over 1. Well, that's obviously the same as times 1. So 0 0.0045 moles of AgNO3 is my unit now. So we would need this many moles of AgNO3, but we actually have this many moles of AgNO3. So we do not have enough AgNO3 to fully react. What does that mean? It means that AgNO3 is the limiting reactant. So now that we know that AgNO3 is the limiting reactant, we can clear up the page 
and solve the rest of the problem. How many grams of precipitate can we make? Well, remember, how many moles of AgNO3 did we have? It was 0 0.0005 moles of AgNO3. Just like before, I used the mole ratio to go from here to here. Now I'm going to use it to go from here to here. So 0 0.0005 moles of silver nitrate is going to get multiplied by a certain factor to change silver nitrate into silver chloride. And here's how I'm going to do that. Moles of AgNO3 on the bottom, moles of AgCl on the top, and then look at these mole ratios. For every one mole of AgCl, there is one mole of AgNO3, and the units cancel. I'm left with 0 0.0005 moles of AgCl. But we don't want to know how many moles. We want to know how many grams. Those are different questions. Well, no problem, because I will multiply by the molar mass. I want to have one mole of AgCl here on the bottom to cancel, and then some number of grams of AgCl. Well, I've got to know the molar mass. So I'll write that right here on the side. Ag is 107.9 and Cl is 35.5. So AgCl is the sum of those, which is, let's see, uh, 142 and then 1.4. That'll be 143.4. So switch back to red and 1, 143.4 grams of AgCl is equal to 1 mole of AgCl. These go away, and now it's multiplication. 0 0.0005 times 143.4, which is 0.7 one seven grams of AgCl and we're done. We found out how many grams of precipitate.